I will never forget this story. So I'm in college and I have this amazing girlfriend and we decide to have sex and we have this like otherworldly type of sex where it is so passionate and I'm a very intimate lover, faces like right on top of each other, staring into each other's eyes and it culminates with both of us sharing an orgasm at the exact same time, finishing. And what do I do? Right after this amazing sexual experience, I hop off, I go to the fridge, I grab two beers, I kind of toss one at her, and I'm like, let's drink these beers real fast and head to that uh, frat party. And I'll never forget what happens next. She yells at me. Well deserved. She goes, what the heck is wrong with you? We just like had the most bonding sexual experience I've ever had with anyone. And you just immediately got off me and went on to the next thing. I was like, what was I supposed to do? And then this put me on a journey of understanding what she needed. And she explained after sex, she wants to be held a little bit. She wants to be kissed. She wants to feel like we just had an experience and now we're still, you know, having the end of the experience, which is a little bonding, a little talking, a little cuddling. And she needs that to feel wonderful about the experience. And the reason I brought this up is because I want you to think like a man and understand how he works. So not only is the guy going to do what needs to happen in a sexual experience, but the woman is as well. So I learned I need to stick around and cuddle. What is going on in the male brain? Why does he not want to cuddle? Men are constantly in producer mode. Everything is to produce a result. When he has sex, the result is I want pleasure. I want pleasure for me. I want pleasure for her. And then I want to go produce something else. So the moment... My, you know, my body was in present for sex. The moment that ended, I went into future. What, what's next? What can I produce? And the next thing was, we got to pound these beers and we got to head to the party because that's the result. Right? So men and everything they do is produce. So as a woman, how can you make him adore you by understanding this concept? We need to go with his producer mode and go with it. So even in the sex example, saying, hey, after sex, it would feel so amazing to me and would really bring the session together if you put your arm around me and gave me some kisses for you know, five to 15 minutes, depending on how busy we are, and just made me feel special and made me feel protected and safe within your arms. And so in his head, he goes, I can make her feel safe. I can make her feel protected. All I got to do is scoop my big arm around her after sex. No problem. So now he feels like he's producing a result. He's like, I need to do this to produce something. Now this can show up in dating as well. You know he wants to produce. Whether you want him to listen to you. Hey, hey. I need to vent for 10 minutes. I don't want you to solve any problems. I just want you to listen. And at the end of it, I'm going to feel better. So then he listens and he knows he's producing a result now. At the end of the listening, you go, Mike, thank you so much for listening. I feel better. So now we're training him on how he can produce. So we're understanding how he thinks. He's constantly produce, 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 produce. And now you're going with it. You're not going against the grain. You're like, how do I get him to produce but do the things I need him to do to be happy in this relationship? Whether it be sex, whether it be setting up a date. Hey, Mike, it would feel so amazing if on Friday you could pick us a restaurant to go out to. He's like, I got to produce. Let me go research a restaurant. Got that done. What's next? What else can I produce? So he's just going to keep producing. And he will adore you 
if you don't make him stop producing, you tell him to produce, and then you appreciate him for the production. So that's how you think like a man so he adores you. Hope this video was helpful. Um, we will see you next video. If you want to watch more, more videos up there and there. Let's go. Watch some more. Love all of you. See you next time.